Falcons get two right back. Falcons have actually made their only official field goal attempt. Franklin Pierce has made all three of theirs. Ducharme wiggles her way inside and scores to get Bentley. They are finishing with confidence. Ducharme to the basket, tosses it up on the move, and gets it to go over Heitman. I don't think C. White or the Falcon coaching staff can be happy about the way their team is defending right now. Thompson in the key, hits the jump shot to get her first two of the game. Ducharme dumps it in the inside for Eli, who works against Mulderig, tosses it up and in, and draws the foul. Everything's contested on the perimeter. Morgan, skip pass across Obar for three. Got it. First trip. You wonder if she got hurt in the early moments. The inbound goes to Norman. She gets away from Mulderig for two. Nicely same as last year, along with the addition of Janessa Gonzalez. And the health has played a big part in that. And there's Norman for two inside. Mulderig averages 11 a game. Sirowich averages just under eight, so they've already surpassed their average. Obar with the left hand on the drive, kisses it home. Obar dumps it inside for Eli, goes to the hoop, and banks it in as Mulderig gave her some space. Maggie Whitmore at the line and a chance for her 1,000 points. And there it is. Congratulations to Maggie Whitmore. The senior remaining in the first half. Franklin Pierce has not trailed in this game. We had one tie early. Largest lead has been eight. Yeomans pulls up, right corner, splashes home the two. Amanda Cabantu tries to get away from Sirowich, who defends well. In the post that goes for Ducharme against Mulderick, who has to be careful. And Ducharme takes advantage with the jump hook. Now it's Whitmore. Yeomans in the lane. Out for Thompson, foul line jumper on the way, got it. Thompson pulls up along, two is good. After Bentley got to within a point, Ravens back-to-back -back hoops, Thompson gets three back on the pull-up triple. I wonder if there's ever going to be any kind of substantial run in this game. If there is, it might decide things. Norman inside, goes to the left, and ties it. Before in the game clock for Bentley, Yeomans in for Ducharme. Back for Yeomans, and now Whitmore for three in the lead. Got it. First Bentley lead of the game with 20. Ravens also the same. In fact, they're dead even. 17 of 39 from the field for each team. Thompson pull up left elbow, swishes it home. First foul. Thompson using a screen to the paint. Cabantu corner three is good. And Pizzer, which leading Franklin Pearson scoring with 14. That ends Bentley's run at 9-0. Whitmore at the other end for three. Curry's another one, her second of the game. Charm, shot clock at six. Obar's got to notice it. Now for Cabantu, takes the three straight away. Got it. Second triple for Cabantu. All seven of her points have come since halftime. Out for Yeomans. Takes the three, holds the pivot foot. Now inside for Norman. Looks on Mulder, it goes to the left. Flips it up and in. It's a 9-2 Raven run since Bentley opened up an 11-point lead. Now they have to execute to the Falcons. Thompson, three at the top of the key, pounces in, oh my goodness, and hit the front of the rim twice. And get possession. Might not cost Bentley here, but it's just the tenet they should live by. Mulderig misses the jumper, Ducharme the rebound. Franklin Pierce is just gonna let that one go. And the Falcons are gonna take the victory. It was hard work. They trailed for almost the first three quarters, but a 15-2 run that spanned the third and fourth periods put the Falcons ahead, and they held on to win it 66-57 over Franklin Pierce. The Falcons will host the Northeast 10 Conference Championship game on Sunday afternoon. Fifth